Hey, today I'm gonna to show you how to delete your Facebook account. Yeah, feels good just thinking about it, right? I'm gonna walk you through how to delete your account on a Mac, PC, iPhone, and Android phone. That's a whole lot of deleting. Depending on your age, adults spend between six and seven hours on social media. The earth is square. That cat, oh man, that's a like. This according to Nielsen's social media report, that's a lot of baby photos and oh, fake news. For many of us, Facebook makes up a lot, if not all of that social media time. And maybe you're tired of seeing your friends perfectly curated online life. And maybe you're tired of seeing political arguments that go on and on in your feed and endless circles. Or maybe you're tired of having your data compromised or maybe you're just tired. Hey, there are three ways you can break up with Facebook. I call them the three Ds. I know, it sounds a little bit like 3D, you know? Speaking of a technology that nobody likes anymore. <laughs> with Facebook, you can delete it, deactivate it, or detach yourself from it. There are upsides and downsides to each one. Deactivation hides your profile and content from others, but saves your information in case you want to reactivate your account. Also, while you're deactivated, you can still use Facebook Messenger. Deleting your account, on the other hand, removes it permanently. Bye, Felicia. See you later, alligator. Not today, Satan. However, there is a 30-day window where your data is still on Facebook servers, so, you know, in case you change your mind. Welcome back, Cotter. Detaching yourself from Facebook is all about finding small, realistic ways to use the service less until you're ready to sever your ties completely. Look, no matter which option you choose, there are a couple housekeeping tasks you have to do before deleting, deactivating, or detaching yourself. I know, it's Facebook. The first thing you need to do is update your email address and passwords for any websites and apps that use your Facebook profile for logging in. For example, Spotify, games like PUBG, newspapers, websites, other apps. If you're not sure what apps and websites currently use your Facebook account for login, you can go on a computer and open up Facebook, then go into settings, and then tap on apps and websites. Here's what the same process looks like from Facebook's mobile app. Once you're in the apps and websites section, tap logged in with Facebook. From here, you can see anything that is or was using your Facebook account for logins and the exact information they had access to, like your profile picture or email address. So the reason you wanna do this before you delete or deactivate your account is it becomes a major pain in the ass to do it afterwards. You're all on your own to find all the websites and apps that you have to reset your login for. I recommend disconnecting any and all websites or apps you use from Facebook, then resetting the passwords with your email address. Now, depending on how many apps or websites you had connected to Facebook, this could take a while. So pour yourself a cup of coffee or wine. Actually, wine is a much better idea. It always is. More. If that wasn't long enough for you, <laughs> more housekeeping here. Hey, look, the next piece of housekeeping you gotta do is download your Facebook data. Now this is gonna include photos, videos, comments you've posted, messages you've sent, pretty much anything you've done on Facebook. From the desktop web version of Facebook, go into settings, click your information, then click download your information. Here's what the same process looks like on your phone. Tap on the cheeseburger button on the top right, Scroll down to settings and privacy, select settings. And then from here, I'm actually gonna scroll down to your Facebook information. And if you look at this, I have a couple of different settings here. I'm gonna go to the last one, download your information. And what this does is it allows me to either download every piece of data Facebook has on me. I can also unselect certain things here. And as you can see, this list goes on quite a bit. When you're ready, click Create File. Now, what are you gonna do with all this data? Well, first of all, 
is you can see what information Facebook had on you. Kind of like getting your hands on that golden file from the FBI. What, you don't think you have an FBI file? <laughs> Amateur hour. <laughs> Next is maybe there's photos and videos you had online that you didn't have offline. Like that picture of your cat you took when she ate your cheese on October 13th, 2012. That was really good cheese. But perhaps the most interesting is the ad tracking. Oh, oh this is where it gets really interesting. You can see what topics Facebook targets ads for you, like perhaps uh, coffee or cameras or, well, cats and cheese. Now that we're done with all these housekeeping chores, let's delete Facebook! Yay! Let's go back to those 3Ds, and we're gonna specifically start with deactivation. This is probably the most solid option for most people, especially if you're, well, a little on the fence about deleting your account permanently, or if you know that you just wanna take a temporary break from the website. I recommend deactivating or deleting your account from a computer. It's three steps as opposed to six steps. You're gonna to go to settings, click on your Facebook information, then click on deactivation and deletion. Okay, so when you're on your phone, it's a little more complicated. So from the Facebook app, you're gonna tap the cheeseburger button, that little three lines in the bottom right. And then from there, you're gonna tap on settings and privacy, tap on settings, then scroll down till you get to the section, your Facebook information. Now tap on account ownership and control, then tap on deactivation and deletion. Yeah, Facebook made it really easy for you, huh? <laughs> I need more wine. So from the deactivation and deletion screen, you can select, well, the deactivate or delete. And there might be a couple prompts that pop up to make sure that you made the right choice, but just know in your heart that you have 30 days to change your mind. You have 30 days to go from peace and wonder to the same scrolling hell that you've lived for the last five or six years. Finally, let's talk about that third D detaching yourself from Facebook. I myself, as well as a couple friends I know who couldn't really bring themselves to deactivate or delete Facebook, found another alternative, just removing the Facebook app from your phone. You will be less tempted to pop into the app if it's not there. No more random bored scrolling. Also, using Facebook via a mobile web browser is not a great experience, which will curb your temptations further. Before you delete the Facebook app off your phone, there's one more bit of housekeeping. I know, I know, just drink some more wine. Okay, so if you're on your computer, you're gonna to go to timelines and tagging settings. If you're on your phone, you're gonna go into settings and then scroll to privacy and select timeline and tagging settings. What this is gonna let you do is you can control if someone tags you in a post or a photo, you'll get an email notification about it. So you have to approve it before anyone else can see it. At the end of the day, getting rid of Facebook completely or just using it a little bit less is gonna be entirely up to you. But at least there's always Instagram. Facebook owns Instagram. What, really? Facebook owns Instagram? Oh, there's just no escaping. Let me know in the comments how you deal with using Facebook less or if you have tips for protecting your privacy even more while on the social network. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want some more how-tos, subscribe. Until then, I need more wine.